I want you, yes, you, to imagine a world with me. A world where the phones that we keep in our back pockets can film the same as the film industry cameras that they use in Hollywood. A world where Derrick Rose never tore his ACL, Elon Musk is the president, we have boats that turn into cars that turn into planes, and a world where we have civilizations on the moon. A world where this idea and this technological advancement can change everything. Now obviously not all of that would come from just a phone being a film grade camera, but I'm gonna put it to the test. I went out and I shot using both my iPhone 13 Pro Max and my Canon T6i camera. So today I'm gonna go through and compare the shots that I got on both my Canon and my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and we're gonna see how much they match up and see how well they both do against each other. So this first shot that we have is a comparison of just a simple shot that I got right as I got out of my car. I just wanted to test to see how the cameras would pick up the movement of the grass and the wind and the colors that they would pick up without any changes that I made to settings. Both of these videos are not color graded at all. I didn't mess with any settings on these color wise or video wise. Um, these are as raw as they get. They're straight off of my SD card and my phone. Nothing was messed with. In my opinion on this first shot that I got, I feel as though the iPhone shot had a lot more saturation and color to it. Um, I feel like it really pulled those greens out and showed that blue in the sky. But on the other hand, I feel as though the Canon shot picked up the motion of the grass and the trees better in the wind. All around, I would honestly take the Canon shot over the iPhone shot. Color is something that you can mess with in post-production, and so I feel like getting that good motion of the grass and the trees is more important in this aspect over getting good color right off the bat. For the second shot, I was testing to see how well the manual focus would stay focused on the portion of grass that I chose while more grass is blowing in front of it distracting the lens. For me, I personally choose the iPhone video over the Canon video. I feel as though the iPhone did a better job locking on and focusing more on that patch of grass that I wanted it to than the Canon did. Obviously the Canon was able to stay focused but with the lens, it was also a very busy shot with lots of grass blowing in front of the lens. Now I know that's not the camera's fault, but the lens on my iPhone was able to get a wider shot than the Canon did, which then made it less busy. For this shot, I decided to go inside the barn and see what I could do. For this one, I just wanted to get the grass framed within the door of the barn, so it's very visible blowing, and I also wanted to play around with the shadows within the barn. I am gonna have to give this one to the Canon shot, I love the way that the camera picked up the shadows within the barn while still focusing in on that grass in the background. It really held that saturation from the sun and that green inside the grass and I just feel as though the iPhone shot was still a little too bright for me. Even though I played around with settings on both of them, I was able to get a more cinematic and crisp shot with the Canon um, when it comes to that grass and the shadows within it. Now for this one, I decided to play around with what everybody was the most excited for, the cinematic feature on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you don't know what that is, it gives you a much more shallower depth of field, which then blurs out the background more than the average camera would for the iPhone. Um, you also have focus change, where if you're focused in on something on the foreground, you can tap on something in the background and it will switch focus in a cinematic way. Here I was trying to play around with that, and obviously as you can tell, I'm going to have to throw this one to the Canon shot. Um, the iPhone really struggled switching focus when it comes to the movement of the leaves in the foreground. It really didn't know what to focus on at any given point in time. But when I was using the Canon, I was able to get that slow focus change to the background um, using my focus dial on my lens. And it was just much smoother and much easier to control compared to the iPhone cinematic mode. Now this isn't me knocking the cinematic mode. I love how it works. I love the cinematic mode, but in this circumstance, I still would choose the Canon camera to change that focus uh, and kind of personalize it more than you're able to with the iPhone. I hope you really enjoyed comparing these two cameras. Um, honestly, no shade to either of them. I love the way that both of these shoot. I just wanted to truly compare and see how well the phones that we keep in our pockets can do versus a film grade camera. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found it informational and please turn on post notifications because I'll be posting a short every Tuesday and Thursday and then a full length video on Saturdays. Thanks for watching the video. Come back soon.